You came in too fast. I was trying to get you too. Hey, give me a couple rails so you cut it off. Hey, let's go. Yeah, give me Like a woman driving a stick. Yeah. <laughs> well, all the Chevys lined up down here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this car. So I bought it from um, a family member. Uh -huh. He had bought it for his wife. She was killed in a car wreck. Her and the baby. Okay. Her mother were killed and he didn't want him anymore so his daughter took um, the red 72 Chevelle okay and the son that he raised um, was not his son but it was like his son took this one and he decided to sell it so he contacted my dad and um, the dad called me and said we need to take a ride and when your okay. dad calls you and tells you, you want to take a ride you're right. always scared so I was like right. sure I'll be over in a little bit and he took me to see this car okay um, and of course I was like yes obviously I'll take it um, she came home put it on uh -huh. her trailer and brought her home and okay. No seats, um, no interior. So we kind of pieced it together over time. The motor um, we pulled and we replaced it with the 350. Okay. Um, what was in it? It's a 454 stroker, and it didn't want to run correctly. Oh man! What y'all do with the 454? Sitting in the garage. Okay. All right. I'm gonna talk <laughs> to you. When, I'm gonna talk to you when this camera go off. Okay. <laughs> so she's sitting in the garage. Um, we may be putting it in another car eventually. So. Okay. And and what year is this car? 71 heavy Chevy Chevelle. Okay, the heavy Chevy. Oh, yeah. The heavy Chevy, okay, yes. okay. Yeah, yeah they did that the, um, to, yeah. to fool the insurance people. It's been stripped off. Yeah. So. And did it come with the Frosted Americans? Um, I'm not sure. That'd be a question for the husband. No problem, no problem. <laughs> I just know you can't find them no more. No, not. Yeah. He's had these since the early 80s. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, I remember everybody used to want Frosted Americans. Yeah. Okay. And um, what all did y'all do to the... What, what all did y'all do to the engine? Um, actually, the engine belonged in the 55. It was a 350. Oh, that was a small block car originally? Small original. block originally, and he put a big block in it, and we just moved the small block over here. Okay. <laughs> all right, and so what are the, the plans of, for this car? Well, we have new interior. Okay. Um, that we're going to be replacing it with. Um, we plan on painting it. Okay. We have new door panels. some of the quarter panels and everything fixed. Okay. We plan on following it up a little bit. Okay. All right. Well, I like it, man. And um, I saw it last night over there at, um, at uh, Chick-fil-A, and I didn't get to catch up with y'all, but um, I think I had to leave early. But, well, that's um, the original back seat. So okay. get that. Okay. Um, All right. So that is the original back seat. Oh, man. It looked good. I mean... You know, and you still got the cutouts for the six by nines. Mm -hmm. But when that motor right, you don't need no no music. <laughs> no. So, yeah, got the hood pins and everything. Now, thanks for telling me about this car. Yes, of so I also like these when they have these old um, yes, stickers the up there. It's not off. I wouldn't, I would never <laughs> scratch it off. Never scratch it off. Cause that, that's what they used to make us do every year. Yep. Thanks for telling me about this car. Yes, she's my baby. And thank y'all for doing this cruising. Oh, yes. Yeah, and um, this is year round, right? We're gonna try. Thank uh, you so much. I think it's mm. And it burnt her, the baby, and her mom up in it. Oh, man. And so, he's like, get him out of here. I don't want nothing. He gave up the house. He gave up everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because when you lose your family, man, I mean, they ain't really too much. His daughter took him. Uh-huh. Um, little Eddie took this one. He didn't, he raised the boy, but it okay. you know, wasn't his son. Mm -hmm. Little Eddie wanted to borrow some money, and Daddy said no. Okay, so he sold the car. <laughs> so he sold the car. Okay. So, okay. But it, I've asked Little Eddie, and well, my uncle's seen the car since it's running, but Little Eddie says, "Nah, it's got too many memories. I don't want to see right. it yet." That's right. That's right. And it's um, and it's a solid car. I mean, yeah, I mean it's solid. Yeah. Yeah. It's in rust. Uh huh. But a little surface rust though. I mean, but you ain't got no holes or nothing. No. You ain't you ain't got stuff that's beyond repair. No. You know, right, and that's the whole thing is just to sand it down, and mm -hmm. it's not going to be the, the greatest paint job. No, you don't need that, but I just want it just right a little bit nicer, and that way, if somebody does lean up against it, I'm not having right. to see it. Right, 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 so. 
Right. Well, thanks again for telling me about it, man. I saw it last night, and I saw you driving. And I said, "Yeah, hey, I gotta go talk to that lady." <laughs> and then they told me you was with the two lane black top guy. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I only, I, I just keep calling the two lane black top guy. Yeah, I mean, amazing. yeah. <laughs> Because if you if you see on my video, that's always the thing I call it yeah. two lane black top. I don't even call it a fifty five. I call it two lane black top. Somebody called him the big brown man the other day, and he's like, "I'll take it." Yeah, I'll take that. I'm thankful for that. 